Hello, just a quick review of a custom Camino clone commander I've made. So for this one I used the Camino clone body. I also used some molded parts from clone based customs, a UK uh, 3D 3D printer guy that I'd recommend. So he made the holsters here, these pistols in this bit, and the pauldron, which is very nice. So to make this, I used some faux leather fabric sort of material that I got from an arts and craft shop in the UK. Uh, I measured it out cut the right size and then I also got some elastic which I'm not sure if you can see very well in here I might have to turn the light on in a second okay so there's some elastic in there see if it'll focus which I sewed the fabric onto to make the waist cape the uh, karma. But obviously with doing that it's created quite a thick a thicker wa uh, waistline for him so I don't know if you can see how thick that material is but it's quite difficult to get that to go around his waist so what I had to do was chop I'm not sure if you can see the cut on here so I had to slice along the belt open it up a bit and add in this part here and this part from a uh, knockoff clone trooper. And I figured since I was taking apart his belt, I could add something different to this commander and put a grenade up here. I'm not sure which um, clone trooper it is. It might be Neo has one of these grenades on his back. He might be up here. I know Gree has a fully backpack. But yeah, I added this on gives him a bit of uniqueness and I gave it a chrome look makes him look just a bit more unique than the rest of the clones I also painted in this bit here his sort of back panel uh, obviously something which is pretty clear with this guy is that he has a painted face so these clones these new ones when they come they have these face molds underneath them. I'm not sure what for, whether they've precasted some to rework into fives or a different clone trooper. But when I got this one, I was lucky enough to only have one splodge of glue at the back here. So when I was peeling the uh, helmet off, I just had to make a quick cut on the inside. And yeah, that came off pretty easily with very minimal damage. So here's the helmet for the guy. One thing I've changed with this is I've uh, I've added the black line to make it more episode 3 accurate. Which I think works quite nicely. And I've also painted this uh, vent in the back black because it seemed a bit plain and also the other clone troopers do have this. Another um, sort of edit I made with this helmet is I cut, let me see if it'll focus, I cut a gap here just below the chin so that his nose could fit in because this guy originally I wasn't planning to have him with a helmet on just because every time I put it on it would scratch away from his nose. But I used a matte uh, acrylic finish, like a, a spray, which has protected the paint very well. It also means it's a bit more sturdy now when I can put the helmet on. But I added the gap just to add a bit more security so that when I pop the helmet on, it doesn't really take much more effort. Because these these guys obviously they weren't made to have their helmets removed. Um, they were they were glued on. Uh, it means it's quite a tight fit when you do take these off. Let's see if it'll focus. 
yeah, I decided not to touch up the helmet too much. Because I figured these guys, Camino clones, they're probably quite basic. They wouldn't have much personality about them. Yeah, there he is. I'm quite proud of this one. It's pretty unique. Uh, another thing I've done with these, I do this with most of my customs to be honest. But I've painted up his gun. So it looks a little bit more realistic than the other ones do. So I just did that using a um, silver dry brush. So that's one weapon and he has another one which I, oh it's here. Again, sorry for the clunky nature of this review. I figured I'd just get this out rather than do a step-by-step -step guide. Because this is a bit harder to tell, but these guns were printed in a, um, a much darker black. Yeah, there is some dry brushing on there too. But these guns wouldn't be dirty anyway. These guys are Camino based. They don't really see much action, especially after the first attack on Camino. But yeah, it's come together very well, I think. It looks very realistic, and I, I do like this sort of leather style uh, calm. It's what I'd imagine the uh, clone troopers that you see in the Clone Wars with the black calmers, what I'd imagine they, uh, that they would look like, this sort of leather material. So that's him, really. put this video out to show you guys I'm still here still making customs uh, I do plan in the future once I get a, a sort of desk or office chair to sort of record the process behind making these because it is interesting and even if I do only you know half an hour or so a night they are fun to get out Yeah, definitely a very unique trooper. These pistols in his holster don't actually come out. So they came loose originally, but they're very um like brittle plastic because it's so small. Uh, you put them in his hand and they broke a couple times on me, so I've had to glue them and fix them together, and then I've just decided to pop them in here because it saves a lot of effort but a lot of these like connecting pieces between the holster and the um, belt were made from I'm not sure if you can see it in there were made from uh, knockoff clone troopers so technically this figure is sort of an amalgamation of uh, two clone troopers even though the only other part he uses from other troopers are from its belt but yeah I'm happy with how this one's come out I'll be putting him up for sale very soon there's not much more I can really do with him because obviously he's a Camino clone I don't want to I don't really want to give him much weathering but yeah it's quite nice it's quite nice as well to work on a authentic black series mold rather than a uh, knockoff especially with that new face sculpt underneath i can't take that up in it i'll just do that quickly Yeah. Brings a bit of character to him. 
having a unique face paint. There's a lot of techniques of making this uh, face. It's very difficult, and <laughs> I'll, I'll probably try it again to be honest. But it is a lot of effort trying to get the eyes detailed enough, doing the lips, giving them a bit of stubble, making sure that it's not too it's not too soft of paint that it just rubs off when you uh, put the helmet on. Getting the details in the ears and even painting the eyebrows was a challenge enough for me. But you know, like I said, I'm happy with how he's turned out. And overall, a very nice custom. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.